Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today who we have is Cardi B. She is clapping back at the people online because they're trying to come for her daughter, Culture. And as y'all know, Cardi B has been doing her thing, minding her business. But as y'all know, Cardi B claps back. She's from the Bronx, New York. Us New Yorkers, we speak our mind regardless of who we are and where we are and what is going on in our life. But before we get into the tea... I just want to say I love Cardi B. Anyways, somebody says your daughter is literally autistic and you're on Stan Twitter instead of making sure she not sticking her finger in outlets. That is what somebody has said. All right, as y'all know, Cardi B is going to see what she sees and she's going to say what she says. She says, my daughter is not autistic. You can't call her ugly, so you have to diagnose her with her with something. Go play in traffic, itch. Anyway, somebody else said, and your child can't read at her big age. People are, oh my God. She says, my child is three years old. You see, this is why abortion shouldn't be banned. Because that's the first thing your mother should have done with your glitter bottom butts. Anyways, I love Cardi B. She has the clapbacks for days, um, as she should. Like, who the heck is these people to be talking about her child? Anyways... And it goes on, y'all. So anyway, Cardi B goes on to her Twitter and she says, 30, 40, 50, don't bring my kids up on nothing. This is all because I put a video of me dancing and y'all wanted me to talk about Raw versus Wayne. Why y'all bringing up kids for? What the F my kids got to do with y'all misery? And this is responds to somebody saying you're 30 years old even megan that's younger than you not on the internet acting like a miserable child like you people are just trying to find things to come at cardi b for i don't understand where it's coming from or why people are doing this they're really miserable y'all talking about a child like come on did not did y'all not see what cardi b did to nikki she ran up on her regardless of what the story is or whatever video was out she ran up on us. She did what she had to do. She defended her child. Stop talking about kids. Why y'all bringing kids up in this? Anyways, this is what Cardi B verbally had to say. So here we go. I'm sorry that I'm not on blogs and I'm not looking up and down. Like, I'm literally like, hey, let me pause my video. Second of all, every single time that I talk about political shit, y'all get me dragged. So shut the up you hear me matter of fact just a couple of weeks ago i talked about hey watch we're entering a recession when is when is the government going to talk about we entering a recession y'all know what y'all told me my my business you're rich matter of fact every single time that i talk about something that's going on in the community y'all told me to mind my business so suck my I don't know about y'all, but it just seems like every time Cardi is minding her business and doing her thing, it's always somebody online in the blogs or doing something to spread some type of negativity towards her. As y'all know, Cardi B is going to respond. Let's get into Wade versus Roe. Okay, several states immediately being abortion following the overturn of Roe versus way now michelle obama went on and she did this letter i'm just gonna read some of it it says i am heartbroken today um that is what our mothers and grandmothers and great grandmothers lived through and now we are here again so yes i am heartbroken for the teenage girl full of zest and promise who won't be able to finish school or live the life she wants because her state controls her reproductive decisions as a mother all right this is what she says now my thing is if everybody would use protection, we wouldn't even worry about, you know, pregnancies. But a lot of us don't use protection all the time, and I feel like we should. All right? Yes, I'm speaking of experience. Anyways, where was the fundamental right to make decisions about our own bodies when Democrats were segregating the unvaccinated and firing people from their jobs over their informed medical decisions. And that's true. There's a lot of things out here that we do not have rights over. And I feel like everything and one should be discussed and changed. Okay? Abortions. We got the unvaccinated. We got these 
all these vaccines. Now they got the monkey pox out now with the vaccines. Anyways, somebody also says, you used to be an attorney. Tell me which of the Ten Amendments in the Bill of Rights gives anyone the right to an abortion. Okay, so you have pro-life and then you got the ones that's actually kind of agreeing with the decision of Roe versus Wade. Also... Somebody says, but that's the problem. If you have sex, there's always a chance of getting pregnant. Those are the risk of having sex. Just because it's not your intention doesn't mean it won't happen. If you drive a car, you might get into an accident. If you have sex, you might get prego. And that's exactly what I just said. A lot of us don't, you know, protect ourselves. And pregnancies happen. Then you have, you know, all the other stuff. But anyway, somebody also said... No one wants to hear from you or your husband ever again. As y'all know, 2008, Obama has said, the first thing I'll do as president is sign the Freedom of Choice Act. Then in 2009, he said the Freedom of Choice Act is not my highest legislative priority. (laughs) Also, Young Miami went on her Twitter and said, imagine not being able to get an abortion. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of scenarios in the cases of abortions. Um, there's pregnancies and stuff like that. There's SA going on. You know, you wouldn't want to, you know, have a baby with SA, you know, situations. You have teen pregnancies. And a lot of stuff can be prevented with using some protection. And, you know, but a lot of us don't, like I said. But what do y'all think? Put your comments down below. What y'all think about Cardi B clapping back at fans? And what y'all think about the abortion decision that they're trying to ban. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all click that notification bell. Because when I drop, I got y'all. Bye.